Coach, if you can just share with us your thoughts about the game today. Yeah, a, a difficult game. I think um, Stellenbosch put a shift, but they always put a shift, let's be honest. They are always a team that uh, fights. And sometimes I ask myself, why are they at the bottom of the lock? But obviously it means you don't win enough. Ne? But they're a really tough team, big boys in the middle, a lot of gladiators, you know. Um, but um, I think the second half we played much better. Okay, I had to shout a little bit. Uh, sometimes uh, in, in, in the dressing room, I haven't shouted for long, but tonight I did. And um, uh, because we gave this team a chance to play, this is the team that plays exactly uh, against Amazulu here. And against Amazulu, we didn't score three goals, but scored one goal, and I was proud of them, I told them. But that shows that uh, uh, we have a lot of, a group of good football players, and we need to trust them. And uh, the way they are going, they are, they are carrying us, especially when we have the same turn is the same space we got when we played Golden Arrows in the semi-final, and then we we played um, Amazulu midweek on a Tuesday. Then we played uh, the Champions League against the Angolans. So it was the, it's the same wave where we have uh, three tournaments in three days. Again, it comes back this week. So I thought the game of Telembos was a bit afraid of it. That's going to be a little bit on low because the game in in Widat in Morocco was on a high and obviously the spirits are high on the cup final. I thought this one was afraid of it. But uh, we finished very well. We, we increased the intensity and we attacked. And we have to be honest also, we were helped by the red card, to be honest. But they kicked us to pieces in the first half and uh, I could see a red card coming. I'm not surprised with the red card. You know, fortunately, it looks like he hasn't broken the ankle, but it's, 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 it's really bruised, you know. Probably the Hude will find time to apologize. To You can't end somebody's career like that. But it was a tough team. They're, they're, they're very stubborn. And um, uh, I think Moon scored a, a brilliant header at the back. I don't know. For, the, for me to see them relegated is not easy, but, you know, you ask yourself, so who must lose? Somebody has to lose. And a coach of uh, two academic graduates scoring tonight uh, must be a very proud moment for you personally as well as, well, as well as the two nights. You mean the pizza? As well as... Uh, Keletzo, yeah. I carry it sometimes. We don't make too much noise about our MDC boys. But maybe tonight um, we can say something about the, our players who come from our career, who come from the MDC. They come and change the game. I played pizza as an eight second half when I took out Sugar. I thought he'll stay as an eight, but I, there is the number 10 and he scores the winning goal. The same goal he scored against the Angola, same area, same place, mm -hmm. same movement, same pass. Just passed by Mushishi now, but was passed by Gaston. Mm -hmm. on, on, he, he's got that move, that Iniesta move to go inside. He's a silent killer. And Zwane, you said you were only going to give him 60, but he gave you a full yeah, 90. Yeah, Fantastic but, 90. Yeah, I didn't want him to stay 90, Mark, but... Uh, I have a, two central midfielders, Rivaldo and Sugar, and we are one zero down. I have to put the eight that can attack a little bit, and uh, and also put Kelezo because Kelezo always gives us the intensity, and and be very careful with Kelezo. If you can control in the ball in the box, he knows how to finish it, you know. And 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 Villa was not at the top of his game, but he came in out in patches. Uh, and help Mshishi, they have experience, they know what to do there. And they are the ones who tend it around. And Mauricio also gave us a little bit of uh, weight uh, up, up front there. But the intensity was provided by Keletso and, uh, and, and Pizzo. But the other ones are, are experienced. Yeah. Should we close it, Maske? Who's the goal? Which one? Yes. There's four goals. There is an issue of benefiting the penalty. We? Oui. Yeah. If we benefited, why not? It's about time. I shrugged my shoulder. I, I even went offside on, on Saturday. 
then I will leave the trophy with gladly <laughs> and penalty. No problem. Is the way it is at this point? I will take it. And if I benefit, that is good. You can minus it and stay on two one. It's up to you. <laughs> Coach, what do you what do you make of the team's resolve? I mean, you're saying that in the first half it looked really, really difficult. You had to, you know, get stuck in there, come out, and it even look like a three goal kind of game. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's the game is like that. It's football, ne? The game in Bloemfontein did it look like a five against Celtic? Who cares? The five. So I will take the three also. You know. Who cares? We played well or not? The score is three, eh? so it's, it's tough times for us. We have a difficult program. We, you know, where we're coming from. We're playing tonight. We're playing Saturday again. No excuses. So okay, we rested. Langa, Mshishi, I mean, Kikana, Sirino suspended. Musa, Jali, Dennis, Anele, Tapelo. That team that played in Morocco, only two changes we made. But uh, the team is good, the team is strong. So it's encouraging to say that as we go on, on this campaign with the Champions League, with the group stages, there's a game all the time, Wednesday before the Saturday. So this team is gaining confidence and, uh, and it's encouraging. Have you settled on your side for Saturday? Or were there some guys today who put their hands up and suggested that they might uh, come into the team? Of course. If you score three goals, you can't ignore. The other guys who played, who played well, and uh, uh, they saying that maybe we should be in the starting lineup, you know. But uh, it's very difficult at Sundowns to 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 fight for the space when when Pizzo is raising his hand all the time. I think you saw him in in Casa how good he was when he came on. You saw him when he when he played Eros uh, when he came on or he started in the semi final. I don't remember. He he, he turned it around. Against the Angolans, he turned it around. Tonight, he turns it around. So, he's saying to me, I'm, "Are you wasting my time? You know, I should be in the starting lineup." And uh, ah, the Tempest one is a series. You know, this it's not easy. Tapelo also plays a winger. He gives us the speed. Sometimes he drops Tapelo at the back. I mean, to play at the back and give us the overlaps. I'll see. If what I will do. But, when, uh, when do you make the call? Like the night before, or do you? Thursday night. When when do you, when will you, will you settle it in your mind? No, but I don't have to think of that much. Eh? Maybe the day the game in the morning. I, I decide. I sleep on it and uh, and I, I I I do it. And also I have to look at the opponents. Ne? I haven't had the chance to look because because the opponents also gives you any uh, any indication to say um, what you gonna do with. Uh, 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 the speed of Kunene also, things like that. And who's the other one who Judas? But I think we'll talk about that tomorrow. Let's stay on the on the game tonight. And Coach, I mean, since uh, the season started, I mean, you've had to bring in Kennedy every now and then with Dennis sometimes. Yeah. In the, maybe you just your assessment of him since the season started. Kennedy. I think he played four games. He considered one. So I'm happy. It's tonight. I think maybe even the ratio of Dennis Kennedy must be in a better ratio. Okay, but uh, it's not about numbers, it's about the games, important games. You know, Dennis plays big games in Casa, in Cairo. He, all, he makes mistakes, but he, he wins you the game also. Eh? So he should not be emotional. But I'm happy that Kennedy is playing, which is good, you know. Unfortunately, Riyad got the red card. So who's the third one to take to Durban then? Abram. He's been on the bench sometimes. When, when, yeah. When a coach, uh, is, is, is a sort of player that really needs a bit of love from a coach and support. Leave when Villa. Villa, Villa. Yeah, he so, played well the second half. Yeah, second half. Yeah. But, uh, he came in in patches, yeah. but he gave us the experience. He put play with Mshishi combination plays. Uh, he might not be at the end of the scoring goal, but uh, he gave us a little bit of uh, 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 a boost and hold the ball well and pass well. Combined well with Mishishi. When 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 Mishishi and Villa and and Pizzo and Gaston, if they have their interpasses and they play, it's very difficult to stop them. It's very difficult to stop them because they they, they know how to play football. They're good football players. You, you don't I don't teach them how to play. 
they put their own talent and I, I give them the structure, that's all. But you have to assemble, you can't, you can't teach them how to play. They, they know how to play football. They are, they are talented football players. They make it happen. Coach, I understand this. Take the last question. Yeah. Yeah. We'll hear the doctor, but the, the, the ankle is swollen. It's a bit sad, eh? In early, in early kid, he okay, broke, finished his career. These tackles like that are unacceptable. Thank Coach, you. I understand uh, Emiliano Torres left the team. Yeah, Emi. Yeah. yeah, he decided. Eh? Is he staying in South Africa? He's been, no, he's going back to, he says home, but he's going to New Zealand. New Zealand is his home. Not uh, Argentina. It is. I try to convince him to think about it. You're a talented football player, you're a good player. Look at the goals you score. I, I, I spoke to him, I said, think about it. Before we went even to Casa, think about it, sleep on it. Yes, I'm done. Jeez, I've had a lot of injuries. I've never had so many injuries. And, uh, and in New Zealand, I was not playing professional football. I was doing other things and, and playing football. So uh, professional football, I started at the Mazulu. And, I'm, and I was 28 or 29, something like that. He says, it's not my life. You know, I, I, I want to do other things. I said, are you sure? The, even the South Americans tried to convince him. He says, coach, I'm done. I, I want to leave and uh, you can keep me in the team. I won't come to training. <laughs> I won't play football. So what are you going to do? You're going to fetch me from my house? And I said, no, I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, we will miss him. He's, he's a good football player. He's, got, he's left us with very good football goals. And um, he's a good player. You know, he's sad. But, uh, I mean, he, he's the one who wants to leave. He wants to leave football. What are you going to do? You know, he said uh, economically it's not good for us because we just bought him. You know, but what are you going to do? I don't want to play football anymore. You know? So you he came and spoke to the boys yesterday. He was in tears. I tried to convince him, I brought him to my house before we leave because I think about it, he was in tears. Says coach, too many injuries. Now is the left knee, now is the right knee. I, I this is I'm not gonna have this life. I think I've got another forty years to live. And I want to live it differently. You know. It's, it's difficult. Footballer is it's a bit difficult. Né? It can be too stressful and, and demanding. He says it's too much for him. It's too stressful. Sundowns, he must fight with Serena, must fight with Tempas Wani and all that. He says, I don't need this in my life. I was playing nice in Mazulu then. Now <laughs> it's too much stress. I said, do you want to go back to Mazulu? He says, no, I'm going home. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Thanks. Thanks.